A few years ago, we put together a DVD about Len Crane, a well-known and respected figure in the steam restoration movement. Indeed, he was one of the standout characters who not only restored engines, but being very much a showman himself, was instrumental in getting steam-powered heavy haulage being seen at shows and rallies, showing the engines actually hauling heavy loads as they used to, not just standing still, looking pretty, burning coal and boiling water. Sadly, after fighting illness for many months, in early January 2015, Len gave up the struggle. Very fittingly, the farewell to Len was organised to take place at the Black Country Living Museum, where for many years he and Jane organised steam weekends. We will return to the culmination of Len's farewell at the end of the DVD, but before that, having followed the engines and the people with them for the past couple of years or so, it has become quite clear that the engines themselves and all of the people who have been helped and enthused by Len are all now much influenced by how and what Len did. And so that is how we arrived at the title for this DVD and what we seek to celebrate with it. Len's Legacy. And therefore, the lineup of Showman's engines is no exception. They are fantastic to see positioned in front of the vintage fun fair, where during the day and at night, they provide the power to drive and light the rides. And in the last few years, Endurance has been there doing just that. And it's worth noting that this is the original dynamo which Len stripped, sorted and in fact rewound all of the copper coils to get it working efficiently. But throughout the three public days of the rally, the engines are to be seen moving into and out of the arena, as well as taking part in road runs around the local towns and villages. Although already unwell, when he could, then would also get along to the well end to see how she was performing and just to make sure everything was as it should be. And so back to this year's Great Dorset, where the Super Lion crane engine returned to take part in the heavy haulage activity during the 2015 rally.
We have already heard how decades ago the heavy haulage element of the rally came into being and how that developed over the years as more and more engines became involved. That increasing number of engines and activity needed greater control and organisation for everything to remain safe.